Now, at this point, everyone knows about the disturbing case of P. Diddy, and uh, well, it just keeps unraveling. I was originally going to make a video about this when it first broke out, but as I was editing it, more and more crazy stuff was popping up, and I was like, you know what? I'll sit back and I'll see how much comes out, then I'll make a video. But it kept going to a point where I'm like, yeah, there's no there's no way to even make one video covering all the just completely soulless things this man has done. If you could even call him a man, that is, monster is uh, pretty fitting. If so, bump somebody. I, all right, thanks. <laughs> all right, love you, man. Bye. I got my MTV out. I'm a savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! Yeah, uh, that video was for uh, seven years ago from his YouTube channel, by the way. It, it's, um, it's just disturbing. All around, like, any past media he's, he's been in, it, looking back at it, it's just, yikes. My brother right here from day one, we used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes. But moving on, it's just the constant news that keeps popping up. Like, you think you have a fix, a handle on this case, and then something new pops up. For example, the lawyers that are going up against P. Diddy, um, well, they opened a hotline for victims to call in so they could get their testimonies to use against him. Apparently, it was approximately 12,000 calls that came in the 24 hours, and the lawyer team is now scrambling to try and get through each and every one of those and get them recorded. It's this this man has been going on for decades, long before I was probably learning to walk. This man was um, doing his thing. So, how long how long can a rich dude get away with it? I mean, first Weinstein, Epstein, P. Diddy, Bill Cosby. Like, it's just the amount of rich people. Like, when a rich, when a person or a corporation gets too rich to the point where they can't get, you know, checked and balanced, whatnot, they just go off. If they see they could get away with it, they just keep on going. 25 years to be exact. And within those 25 years, this man has been speed running his way to hell because it's just like, I understand the freak offs that people meme about that he does in his mansion parties, whatever, but that's his, you know, mansion. You want to be a freak in your mansion? Go for it. But when you start throwing that freak stuff on others who are not consenting, yeah, that's like, that's where it becomes the first step of the issue here because uh, his list of crimes, uh, trafficking and whatnot. Ah, uh, yeah, that it, they they keep saying alleged, but like there's some serious evidence. And I feel like if the, if this was just hearsay, you know, all that stuff, the FBI would not be all in right now. Clearly, they let it go for 25 years to build up a humongous case, so they could just throw the entire book at him, at the entire library at this point, to try and drag him to jail where there's no argument he could use to get out of it. But the thing is, throughout all that, there are many powerful people who were going to these parties, and let's say, it's, it's I'm gonna be pretty surprised about the names I'm gonna be hearing in these couple few months when it gets revealed. Man, this is an unbelievable thing, man. Like we all, hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah that's what's yeah. up. Yeah. Like honestly, in these past week alone, I've been just getting headline after headline that just keeps making me think, how low can this man have gone? Like almost three decades worth of just absolute degradation. Whether it's from like P. Diddy, like using record deals to, you know, assault, man it's just kind of it is very hard to process but like seeing this constantly over and over again and then you have like the most bizarre cases like the sinola cartel suing diddy i mean let's be honest a drug lord suing p diddy um yeah that the judge is gonna throw that out of the court real fast but 
Like, what has this man not done? Like, this this guy has really just checked off every box in being a complete and utter monster. Did he do it? Diddy did do it. Damn it, what didn't Diddy do? But going back to the freak-offs, because that's quite literally what P. Diddy called them, he, he trademarked this thing, I guess. Um, it's where he records just uh, him and his guests doing some very bizarre things with a lot of baby oil involved. And, um, well... Oh boy, they, uh, you could tell there are a lot of celebrities that are going to be coming out of the woodwork and um, some are going to be seen as complicit because, hey, you knew about this, you could have stopped it, you didn't, and look where we are now. The man had underground, underwater tunnels apparently uh, in his mansion or grottos, whatever you want to call them, it's just... The man literally had some sort of Dark Souls dungeon maps in his home. I genuinely, like, Cat Williams said it best. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting the body. And you gotta tell him no. Oh, you Lord. got to tell him no. Th there's, there's partying hard, and then there's whatever the hell this man's on. Clearly, it is some sort of high for him to command others to do these kind of freaky deaky things like i can't imagine being at these parties and starting to see things are getting a little too much and you try to escape and you're just trapped in this strange maze of tunnels and grottos trying to get out of p diddy's grasp And that's what bothers me. P. Diddy most likely had goons and yes men that were pretty much involved. A, a man cannot keep this up all by himself. That's for sure. He, he's definitely got some people, you know, turning the gears, getting these systems in play. It can't just be one person. But regardless, the cops, FBI, I, I still can't believe the whole finding like a thousand bottles of baby oil i genuinely want to see a picture of that but i don't think i will it's it, the weirdest thing was his lawyer that was trying to defend the thousand bottles of baby oil that they found and i i genuinely don't know why you would try and die on that hill but the man tried i can't imagine it's thousands i mean you know and, and I'm not really sure what the baby oil has to do with anything. I don't know where the number a thousand came. Seriously, reading the answers that P. Diddy's lawyer gives to the TMZ interviewer is painful to say the least. Like, there, there was no need to defend the thousand bottles of baby oil. You could have just ignored it or moved on. But he was really fixated on defending this. Basically, the conversation started off about talking about the freak offs and how while the victims were abused, threatened, and coerced into participating. This guy's response was, back when I was a kid in the late 70s, they were called threesomes. What? <sighs> so the interviewer then asks that they're implying it was used as a lubricant. And again, the lawyer plays dumb, because again, if you play dumb, you won't, it won't be held against you. But I don't think this guy was playing dumb. They're essentially saying it's a lubricant for an orgy. I guess. I, I don't know what you need a thousand. I, one bottle of baby oil goes a long way. I don't know what you need, need a thousand for. Are you some sort of baby oil expert now? Like, uh, they found a thousand. Just, just, w like, what are you trying to d disprove the numbers for? I mean, he has a big house. He buys in bulk. You know, I think they have Costco's in every place where he has a home. I mean, have you sat in a, in a parking lot of a Costco and see what people walk out of there with? I, I generally don't think that argument works, especially since Costco gave a comment saying they don't sell baby oil in any of their stores in America. So again, I no one needs that much baby oil unless they have a specific intention, okay? What the hell did you do to yourself? I just want to be pure. You don't have that much babies. You don't need that much oil. It's it's like mind numbing. These kind of uh, dialogues that I keep getting as headlines. Um, I just this this PDD stuff. 
Uh, I don't even think it's halfway being done to being completely revealed. And that's why I'm kind of terrified. But this stuff has to come out both for the victims and for justice to happen. Oh boy. Ugh. But the worst of it, again, is going back to the fact that there's still past media. And the same thing happened with Bill Cosby is like when you look in the past or Harvey Weinstein, you know, when they were thanking him in the Oscars. And then Harvey Weinstein. And Harvey Weinstein. Harvey and Bob Weinstein. Everyone. Thank you, Harvey Weinstein. I want to thank Harvey and Bob Weinstein. My agent, Kevin Uvane, and God, Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> It's so weird. We live in a time where everything is well documented and recorded, so you could go back and see how badly it aged like milk. Seeing this, searching Diddy underground caves, you get like news and whatnot. Then I see this. Yeah, that thumbnail ain't doing any favors because you would think it's a documentary talking about all the crimes P. Diddy, uh, P. Diddy, P. Diddy has done. Um, no, six years ago, Diddy was uh, still in um, a safe spotlight here. It's, it's just disturbing now seeing it from this lens. Puff? Diddy? P. Diddy? Welcome to my home. There he is. Yeah, I, that's not something, um, that, that's just like a straight up horror movie uh, interaction right there. <laughs> Why'd you move to LA? Oh, for the kids, the family, the weather. Honestly, this whole video is just very disturbing and foreshadowing if this entire world and reality we are in is some sort of simulation, then yes, this is very much foreshadowing. It really makes you think how many other creeps are out there in the limelight being celebrated and praised, but secretly they're just, I don't know, having a slave shop underneath their basement, their mansion basement, which is probably bigger than my entire house, but still. It's creepy, man. But yeah, moving on, seeing him in all these other medias that I've seen him in, it's, um, he's always played these crazy characters. Now that I think about it, I don't think the man was acting. You ever been mind fucked before? I don't think so. I'm mind fucking you right now. Man's natural talent when it comes to this, huh? He, it looks like he's not even acting at all. But this next one, this one definitely looks like a scene out of his uh, freaky parties. Now this is what the music industry is all about. Sergio's going crazy. I love this game. He's Jeffrey. Let's go. Bye. No, I don't think so. You've been trying to look crazy. I generally think this man um, should never see daylight again. It's it's right there up there with um, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Bill Cosby. These guys, they've ruined a lot of lives. And I just want to end it on this is that these rich elites, these corporations, they get so powerful to the point where they feel like they are unchallenged and nothing can keep them in check. So they do these things. They pick on others and they abuse. They seem to have some sort of narcissist, 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 uh, narcissistic tendencies. These people are pure evil. I, I, I generally don't like putting things to good and evil camps. I like to think things are a bit more complicated than that. But when you actually meet these kind of individuals or groups, you can't help but feel like this is genuine evil. Like this ain't no uh, philo philosophical kind of debate about, oh, they were misjudged or something like that. No, no, this, this straight up is harming others for your own sick desires and benefits. You, you clearly don't care about who you're hurting, who you're stomping out, and you genuinely just want to have it your way. Everyone else be damned. 
I'm pretty sure you, the viewer, have experienced this somehow in some way through some individual throughout your life or group. I know I have. Thankfully, it's not to this extent. My heart goes out to any victims of P. Diddy. But God dang, I am just glad um, they're being brought to light. And I hopefully other monsters get put down as well. Because this, this just is very disturbing. And I have a feeling it's not going to end anytime soon. There are going to be more cases that pop up here and there. Some bizarre, some sad, some very weird. But we have to go through this. This guy's got to be put down. That's all there is.